This video builds on the previous video where we use thermal properties and change them for a wall construction. In this video, we're going to look into changing the thermal properties of the glazing. While accessing and changing the thermal properties for walls, roofs, floors, and ceilings are all the same, accessing and changing the thermal properties for glazing is different. We're not going to cover the energy settings again here because they're the same as the previous video. You can watch the thermal properties for walls video if you're following along and want to know the energy settings used. The health center model has two styles of glazing, windows and curtain walls. In this model, all the windows are the same type, so they will be easy to change. Select any of the windows, then right click and select all instances in the project. Now, like when we edited the walls, select the Edit Type button and open the type properties. Before we change anything, duplicate the type. Now scroll down to Analytical Properties. There's a long drop-down of thermal properties to apply to windows. Let's change the analytical construction to low E double glazing SC equals 0.2. Notice that the grayed out properties change. Then select OK to save and close the type properties. Now all the windows in the project will have the new thermal properties. Click on any of the other windows to check. Now we're going to change the glazing properties of the curtain walls. The way curtain walls work in Revit is that they are set up of several families. We're going to change the glazing panel family. In the project browser, scroll down to the Families menu, find Curtain Panels, and expand the list under System Panel. You'll see the different glazing panels that are used in the curtain walls in the model. Select one of the panels and duplicate. Name the new panel Glazed Low E. For the analytical construction, select the same we did for the windows. Save and close the dialog box. Now we've created a new curtain panel with new thermal properties, but it hasn't been applied yet to curtain walls in the model. In order to make all the curtain walls in the project have the same thermal properties, select one of the curtain walls. Select Edit Type and change the curtain panel to the new panel you just created. Glaze Low E. Select OK and close the dialog box. Now we've created a new curtain wall panel with new thermal properties. For all the curtain walls that are from the same family, a new panel will be applied. If the curtain wall is of a different family, the new panel will not be applied. Click on some of the other curtain walls and make sure your changes have been applied. Now we've enabled and changed the thermal properties of the glazing. You could use this process for editing glazing and doors. Now we're ready to run the analysis. Name your project and run according to the change you made. Go ahead and run your analysis. This run took about three minutes. Now we can access our results. For more information, be sure to check out BPA Help and Revit Help.